What's up, Docos? It's Trent, aka Otremark here. And the new Borderlands game came out this morning. Uh, Borderlands pre sequel is the name of the game. And uh, I pre ordered it, so I, I played it. I've been playing it for the last few hours. And it's a fun game. It really is. And, uh, you know, but obviously it does also bring back a lot of memories for me in regards to Brian, a.k.a. Yoda Slayer, and, I mean, like, it's kind of a mixed bag of emotions for me playing the game, because I have, like, I only really played Borderlands with, uh, with Yote and Wicked and a couple other close friends, so whenever I play Borderlands, like, that's who I think about, and so a lot of memories come back to me, a lot of great experiences that I created um, by playing with, with my friends, but also um, some bitter memories, because obviously it it reminds me that he's no longer with us, and and it reminds me that he can't play this new game with us, and, and we're not going to be able to create new experiences uh, with him. But, um, you know, I was just kind of thinking about Yot and... I mean, in everyone's lives, there's there's people who af affect our lives that we interact with. You know, whether it's positively or negatively, you know, there's people that hurt us, and there's people that help us, and people that uh, teach us, and whether they're family or friends or uh, loved ones, whatever it is, uh, you have people that influence your life. And um, Brian, for me, was someone that has greatly influenced my outlook on life and I think the biggest thing that I learned from Yo was that he was like the embodiment of living in the moment and and he was so positive about all aspects of life like I can think of dozens of conversations that I had with him and whether it was whether it was in re regards to family or you know marriage or kids or whether it was in regards to gaming and you know whether it was Call of Duty or Borderlands or whether it was just you know in, in regards to YouTube or personal life goals he was always so positive about everything he truly made me feel like I could accomplish anything that I set my mind to and I think it's important to to have those type of people in your life those types of people that uh believe in you and help you believe in yourself uh, and and make you feel uh, help encourage you to encourage you to reach and and go after your goals and and pursue your dreams and uh, he was amazing at that he was he was such a fun guy to play games with because not only did you have a blast like playing with him because he he was just entertaining to listen to but he he made you feel better about yourself or about um, whatever it is that you wanted to do in life. And, and he was just really good at that. And I think it, it's that, his, his outlook on life that made him so successful in everything that he did in regards to gaming and YouTube. And um, So, you know, it's, it's kind of uh, bittersweet um, to be playing this game again. But I am going to be playing it with Wicked. We're going to be playing through it and... and um, you know, maybe I'll sh I'll share some of the stories that are some of the experiences that I have with Yote because I do truly feel like um, there's a lot of amazing things that you can learn from someone like that, someone that just has a very positive outlook on life. And uh, obviously, he was human, and he he made mistakes, and he made he, an enormous mistake that cost him and his friends their lives, and and. Um, you know, but I, I also know that he regrets that more than anyone, anyone at all, because uh, because of that decision, you know, he'd left his, his kids and uh, the people that he loved behind. Um, so, you know, he is, he is a reminder. He's a reminder for me to seek after my dreams, and yet he's also a reminder that tomorrow is never guaranteed, you know, and, and uh, he's a reminder to me that 
we need to remember what's important in our lives and and we need to not just wait or sit and wait around for things to happen you know you got to go out and and go get what you want in life you know go pursue whatever it is that that your dreams are so uh anyways guys uh that's pretty much all i wanted to talk about maybe i'll i don't know maybe i'll make um talk a little bit more about my experiences with the but he he's someone that has definitely influenced my outlook on life and uh so playing games that remind me of him um you know bring back some some pretty influential uh memories and experiences that i shared with him but uh yeah you know i i complete completed the last game i was playing all together and you know so i'll probably only be playing borderlands until advanced warfare comes out so if you guys do end up buying this game i'll probably be posting a lot of content in regards to borderlands until advanced warfare comes out but uh that's it anyways guys that's it for me malo alpito thanks for watching and i'm out of here All right, looks like you got a shield. Pretty self-explanatory, really. It can lead bullets until it depletes. When it does, you gotta hide and give it time to recharge. Hey, just let me activate the defense controls. A few seconds, we'll have turrets, force fields, laser wires. See, these assholes won't know what hit them. Critical failure. Helios defense systems are being jammed. What? How? Jamming signal originates from Elven, Pandora's moon. Oh, crap. Kill the turrets, kill the turrets! Evacuate. Evacuate. Oh, this day gets better and better. All right, plan B. We can't take Helios back. We need to evacuate. Escape ships are this way. We must take this ground. Who's she? She seems angry. I don't know, she leads these jackasses, I think. I don't know, but the first person to shoot her in the head gets a high five in the Turbo Mansion. Alright, let me get this door. The escape ships are nearby. Oh, son of a tame. Hey, it's that Colonel! Execute plan to shoot that chick in the head! Hello, Jack. destroyed the ships. We gotta find another way out the station. What the heck was that creature? Uh, no idea, but I get the feeling it could kill us with its brain, so, you know, uh, <laughs> keep running. Jack, what the hell is going on? I'm getting reports of alarms all across Helios. Nothing, sir. Nothing. Everything's fine. Just, uh, one of the claptrap units tried to prevent the light socket, sir. Need I remind you? That you are there to observe, Pandora. Nothing more. If you incur any damages to the Helios space station, I will personally... Ah, oh, sorry, sir. We're losing connection. I can't... Uh, sorry. Yes. What? I called you an asshole because I thought I'd hung up. My bad. We will speak again, John. There's Elvis. That friggin' jamming signal is somewhere down on that cracked rock messing up all the cool security stuff up here.